Howdy everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign playing as one of my favorite states. Now it takes a little bit of time for us to get to updating history, but in just a moment, here we go. We will start off as the Republic of Texas. Of course, like every campaign, custom game rules, nothing's going to be different. It still says we have other countries here, but we are playing with the USA State Redux mod, I believe. Yeah, I think that's the one. And we are doing the campaign with no one exists except for the states, Canadian places, and Mexican places as well. Let us begin. So, the Republic of Texas. I've wanted to play as Texas for such a long time, and didn't really have a, too many mods that were updated with Hoi 4 Patch 1.9.2, but hey, the USA states Redux mod is here and available. So, let us begin with technology, like normal. Grab that, grab that. We definitely gotta get some synthetic oil because, well, this wouldn't be Texas without fuel. But really, I'll show you in a little bit. We get 6.1 thousand fuel per day. That is insane. So, let's build up Texas. Now, with this mod, the entire country has been split up into smaller and smaller pieces, which I love, 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 love. I've always wanted a States Battle Royale mod. Always wanted to play one. Cool. We got start with five divisions, even though our infantry looks pretty weak. We got some cavalry. Put both of you guys under Alexander Patch, who's an infantry dude. Very cool. I'm going to go ahead and put you where I always put uh, Texan soldiers. On the border between me and Louisiana. I always like to bully Louisiana for some reason when I play as Texas. If I ever play as Texas. Which we are right now. Cool. So, if you don't know, I actually used to live in Texas. And... I grew up in Texas, especially mostly during my middle school years, but before I continue on, let's go with a focus. Texas will again raise its head. Texas will again raise, lift its head and stand among the nations or other states and provinces. It ought to do so, for no country upon the globe can compare with it in natural advantages, quoted by Sam Houston. So, like I was trying to say, <clears throat> I used to live in Texas, and... I guess fleet name not set, but in Texas, especially in middle school, I, I think they still do this. You took an entire year of Texan history. Now, in most high schools, you take a year of, you know, U.S. history, usually. But in middle school, I had to take an entire year of Texas history. And I thought, you know what, we're playing as Republic of Texas. And I'll be honest here, we're eventually going to go down the fascist path in this campaign. We'll go down these other paths some other time. But in this campaign, I want to quiz you guys on some Texan history, if you know it. For example, first question, there'll be question one question in each episode except the final episode. Today's question, regarding Texan history. In what year did Texas acquire independence from Mexico? What year was it that Texas was finally independent from Mexico? Let me know in the comments below, and don't cheat or steal anyone else's answers. That wouldn't be very cool. So, let's see, it looks like normal USA ship stuff, not too many battleships, subs, let's go build, uh, let's not build that, because we start with a pretty good fleet, it's not great, let's go ahead and make some convoys, subs, that'd be a waste of uh, manpower, and manpower is precious, incredibly precious, and like we saw earlier, we have this fleet led by Nimitz, <sighs> I'm really disappointed because none of these ships have names, Texas does not have the USS Texas, oh my goodness, someone please, please, Fix this. Oh my god. Also, what should our uh, ship, our naval fleet name be? Fleet name not set. That's not really cool. It would be like the Iron Ships of Texas. A fleet task force name like that. That sounds actually really cool. But let me know in the comments below too. What should our name be? And these templates are, I think, the standard American templates. USA templates, you know, 18 combat width. National Guard is 24 combat width. Horses are, well, horses. And then garrison brigades are literally just six combat with, which is okay. Texas, Texas, and we're gonna need maybe two of you guys. Cool. Let's let time go on. It's gonna take some time for us to actually get into war, though. Second London Naval Treaty signed. No one cares because that doesn't actually happen for us. So, like I said, we're gonna go down the fascist path just because I want to be aggressive. If you go democratic, at least in base game, you wouldn't be able to get too far. You can't just manually justify on anyone else when roll tension is really, really low. So, I want to be a very, very aggressive Texas in this campaign, which I think will be a lot of fun. And, just look at this. I love Texas. Look at this. Look at that fuel. 214 oil. Oh my god, that is so much fuel. 
I love it. So let's go and do the Lone Star State. Texas was once a nation that stood sovereign in between giants. With those giants gone, we can take a new direction. With you, and we, ha with those giants gone, we can become one. Okay, same beginning sentence. Whatever. Without the giants, we can rule. Great, 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 great. We're missing a little bit of tungsten, a little bit of rubber because we want to make some planes, and probably a little bit of artillery. But we all need a lot of guns. Texas needs guns. I, thought, I think Texas already has probably a lot of guns in it. But right now we get 1.1 for political power a day. Not bad. We're led by this dude named James Allred. Uh, I, I've been in Texas history classes, but I don't remember a single thing about James here. But you know what? That's okay. Governors, they're dime a dozen, right? The only one I really know for governors in this time period is this guy right here. Hmm. That smiling man. Look at that smile. Fellow Louisianians. Uh, it looks like they're going to become fascist. <clears throat> good choice, Louisiana. Good choice. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to get grab this. So now we get 1.44 political power a day, which will help us out for the entire campaign, which will be great. And then we'll go to partial mobilization. Then we're going to grab some military theorists. Do we have anyone for military staff for more attack or defense? I think more defense. 10% isn't bad. Organization isn't bad either. So that will be a lot of fun. Anything? Oh, there's no special industrial concern. There's no, like, Texaco. Or the Texas Fuel Company? Mm, man, man, come on. Come on. Eh, well, that's okay. This this mod, of course, is probably still in development, and that's totally cool, totally fun. Thank you, devs, for making this mod, if you're watching. So, I really appreciate it. Cool, we got a little bit of army XP. Very nice. Naval XP is looking pretty good. So, with this path that we've taken... Well, let's do this first. It's going to be a while before we go to war. It's going to be a while for, before anyone really goes to war, as far as I know. we got to become fascist first. Now... We could do a civil war, but that's not super easy. So I'm just going to go with a subversive takeover because this path is a little bit more difficult, even though you do get our new empire, which gives you weekly stability, war support. No, no, no war support, just weekly stability, political power, just about world goals times, and offensive war penalty state stability. But over here, we can subjugate the weaker neighbors. And that sounds like fun. I love subjugating people, but we have the Lone Star State. Now we shall do a subversive takeover where... While the German sector of our ideology prides themselves on military might, we do not think like barbarians. We know the value of subversive activities and the wonders it can do for us. If we take our time with the government, governmental takeover, we can avoid countless months worth of reconstruction, which become, the fascists become just slightly, slightly more popular. And the fascists are led by Edwin Walker. Hmm. I have no idea who that is. I really have no idea. Uh, we want to eventually get that too. So with this mod, you can form a nation, which is really cool, like the Confederate States. We're, we're probably en going to end up playing as the Confederate States once we get all the South. Texlahoma, which is awesome. It sounds like Texas and Oklahoma. Also, that's another thing in this mod. Sometimes it lags very hard. Oh, it looks like partially because by the time you get your first focus done, your first two focuses, states have chosen which way they're going to go. And right now, as you can see, we have the Missourian Empire. So every state is now shifting to its ideology. State of Illinois, Nickajack, the River State, the Regnant Populous, Land of the Deity, uh, the People's Republic of New Mexico, which I wonder which way they went. People's Republic of Wyoming, State of Utah, God's, God's Enriched Empire. Holy cow, what a name. I love that. We have the Iowan Empire up here. South Dakota Empire, People's Republic of Nebraska. What a bunch of commies. <coughs> um, the Aryan Nations. Idaho? You got something to tell me, man? <laughs> the Aryan... Oh my god. that's a, That sounds amazing. That sounds fun. That's just... Wow. Holy cow. The Central Cascadia, People's Republic of North Dakota versus... South Dakota Empire, Subversive Takeover. Let's go ahead and do riots. Mm, let's begin some radio broadcasts because that lasts the entire game. So it would increase support of the public. We can start to broadcast radio programs. The radio is a powerful tool. And it could be the difference between the life or death of this cause. The radio is crucial to getting our cause out there and being seen by the public, which will hopefully increase our support. And we got the Pu People's Republic of Wisconsin, State of Michigan, State of Indiana, Illinois, the Buckeye Imperium, mm, Tennessee and Empire. Oh, also, Florida does have its own focus tree as well, which I hope to get to someday. Because it looks like fun. They can do a new government, which has five... Yeah, I can count five different branches. Patriotic Restoration, with probably just focus on the economy. They have a socialist nation, which is, looks kind of cool. They have a return to royalty, 
Um, okay. God King, Generals of the Family, War College. A call for something greater for the Communist Path, which purged the Radicals. Save the Proletariat, reinforce the state, denounce democracy. Or we could go, if we ever play as Florida, a United Right, where you get... <clears throat> Oh, uh, Southern Pride. <laughs> they get even, even work camps. Another Confederate States to the north. <laughs> oh my god. This mod, it's... Oh my goodness. I'm so glad we found this mod. Let's go ahead and grab some partial mobilizations. So we can build, build, build. Texas... Texas's economy must be the best in the Union. Or what was the Union? Appalachia, Virginia Empire, State of North Carolina. We have the People's Republic of South Carolina. Georgia is going... Fascist. Oh. With that flag, I definitely assume y'all going fascist. M2 light tanks. Construction. Let's get some more tanks, too. We want some Texan armor. That sounds like fun. Texan armor. Let's get, get some reinforce rate. Dover. Southern Delaware. Wait. Southern Delaware. The Delawarean Empire. Uh, People's Republic of Maryland. Uh, begin the radio broadcast. Good. I will get some support from high command. The generals in the country hold the power. With the support of the generals, a revolt would be strongly in our favor. The generals might be hard to sway, but with enough coaxing, they may switch their allegiance. After all, they support the will of the people, don't they? Uh, Pennsylvania's gone commie. New, New Jersey became the Garden State. Well, I think they already were. The People's Republic of New York. They've finally shown their colors. Led by Wallace. Communist. Wow. Oh, he's a permanent revolutionary. That's kind of cool. Let's see. We have... Uh, People's Republic of Connecticut. We have Rhode Island. Oh, God. Can you imagine trying to play as Rhode Island in this game? I don't think it's possible. Oh, it looks like we got a little bit more lag here. Let's maybe pause it just in case. There we go. God dang. I, I, I think it might be a little impossible. Oh, they're going fast, so. Impossible playing as Rhode Island. But you know what? I hope Rhode Island takes over all the East Coast. I hope they do. We got Massachusetts, led by a pretty thick... Hurley guy. We got some Vermonter Empire, New Hampshire Empire, and we have this guy, Maine, just doing Maine things. Oklahoma, and of course we have Mexico down here, Bala Californias. Wait, Texcoco? Texcoco? Hey, Texcocos. I'm, 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 I don't know what to say about that. Cool! Cool though. You got some radio, some fascist propaganda, a little bit of fascist influence. We're only 33% fascist, whatever. And we have the NCR, the New California Republic, led by Frank Miriam, who I think is in Kaiserreich, if you play as a PSA. Pacific States, I think, Loyal Democratic Army. They went democracy, Dust Bowl migration, and they went with the Republicans in power, with the elephant. They really don't like communists. All right, well, whatever. And they also have their own unique focus tree, which is very cool. Maybe I'll play as the NCR someday. In this mod, as well as Old World Blues again. People's Republic. What is Canada doing? Look at that. Naval XP looks just... Oh my god, that's amazing. Anarcho Alaska. Could you ask for a better mod when Alaska goes anarchist? Holy cow. At first, I thought that was like the communist flag of China, but... Oh my gosh. Colombia. Spectacular Northwest Territories. Albertan Separatists. You know, I don't know much about Alberta, but this seems really fitting to be separatists. Land of seed and honey. Do they got a lot of Mormons up there or something? Oh, no, they they went communist. Okay. Ah, support from high command. Good, good. It do, like I said, it's going to take a little bit of time before we can become fully fascist, but we must encourage riots. If the, peop if the public is on our side, we are strong. Without public support, we are nothing. If we can encourage people to riot in large cities, lots of money will be spent on repression. Riots will also be a show of unwavering loyalty to our cause, securing our hold and making our support look larger than what it already is. And since we have high command, we can get uh, some military staff here, which... That's, not, that's pretty good, actually. That's, that's really, really good. We got a lot of army XP now. Ooh, this is really nice, too. But I'm probably going to spend it on you. So we're going to wait a little bit. Uh, for now, let's get you guys switched up to infantry. So at least we have a good front line. Armored cars. How much support? Oh, we don't have that much. Good. Just go ahead and do that for now. Since we have a horse, we might want to no longer fascist influence. That's okay. Garrison brigades. We're going to make... Oh, eh, we must make it 10 combat with already. Since we have the army XP, you never know how long we're going to actually have that. Cavalry has to be at least 20, at the very least. At least 20 combat width. Good, good, good. Oh, and boom, there you go. There you go. Make sure everyone is training again, because they're probably not going to be all that strong. And that's okay. 
lose a little bit of stability, and that's okay. Uh, and we'll grab some of this. Thank you, my friend. Ontario Empire, the Jeme Souvian. I, I don't speak French that well. I took one year of French in high school. Je m'appelle Monsieur Mokolover. That's all I know. Take pride in her people. La and they're just Labrador. They're not. Why are you so happy? Joey? Look at that smile, man. Let me see. The People's Republic of Newfoundland. Very cool. Anything else? Oh, how about Mexico? Sonora. We kind of look at this part. People's Republic. We love riots. But now let's gain support of the army. Without the support of the army, the journals will be of no use. We need the army to be in our favor to get a peaceful takeover. We can promise more military spending once in power, but we may not hold true to our word. That would not be a great idea, but we'll have to do what we have to do. Get more people influence. Hey, Sinaloa. That's a place in uh, Old World Blues. I guess in Mexico, too. And who are, who are you? People's... The Big Land. Um, People's Tamaulipas. Hey, look, I know that flag. Republic of the Rio Grande, anyone? My armpit? No, Nayarit. Nayarit. Yalisco. What is this? The People's Old Mexico? That's cool. So we got that done. 18, 1936. Is it 1819? 19? I don't know. Am I playing Victoria 2 right now? I'm not. Cool. And we've dispersed industry and radio. Let's grab some of this. Let's grab some motorized because that's going to be super important too. And we need to develop our air force. People's Veracruz, Mid Midland State. People's Oaxaca. Uh, don't ask me, I have no idea. Chiapas, Yucatan, of course. Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador. And these countries are pretty much all the same. Like what we're used to. Panama's here. The People's Republic of Panama. And just normal Panama. Uh, well. Alright, well, whatever you do, you, Panama. Wow, we need more, um... We're gonna need a larger army. We're gonna need more manpower, too. That does not look very good. You guys looking okay? You guys training? You are not. And just a few few more weeks. A few more weeks. 70-day focus. You know, those are okay. We'll see what happens over time. And currently, we are, I think, on limited conscription. Good. Oh, volunteers only, actually. They're not even limited. Two and a half percent. Oh, wait, hold on. I've played this game for years now, and I just realized that Volunteer gives you 1.5%. Apparently, it's right there. 1.5. Oh, so that gives you 10%. I just realized that. Wow, I am slow. Anyways, in the upcoming election, support for Democratic values is still high. The people are having confidence in James Alward's leadership. However, the party's pursuit of increasing Republic of Texas's focus on military matters has not been entirely popular with the public, with a significant segment of citizens considering this ill-advised jingoism. War is, not, is yet to reach our border, and few would like to see the Republic of Texas take aggressive action. Well, too bad. Cooperating with other major parties will share our concerns for the safety of our nation. We will still be able to rule after the election, albeit with diminished support. People must be heard. Um, yeah, protecting our sovereignty comes first. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, we're, we're going to war. Texas is going to be super aggressive, and we can always make sure we get that too. Also, I was going to talk about this earlier, but this is a little bugged at the moment with this form Texahoma because you have to, have to own Salamanca or Cordoba and... Uh, Arctic Alaskan coast so I don't remember Oklahoma being in Alaska usually uh, we're already in superior firepower we might as well stick with it then yeah uh, mm, uh, you know I never lived in, lived in Oklahoma but I don't think Oklahoma's in Alaska regardless you know whatever form the American Union state that sounds like a lot of fun we need Raleigh Charlotte Columbia and all them southern capitals, which would be cool. We can form the Confederate States or the American Union State and form the Republic of the Rio Grande, where we own Big Ben country. But we need Asturias, which I think is in Spain as well. Scott's Bluff, Wilstonstead, let's see. Uh, let's see, what is this? Mexican Highland, Chihuahua is down here. Oh, that's just, that's just one state. Holy cow. Sonora, of course, and then guess an area. Oh. Mexico has at as a core state. Cool. Gain support of the army. Now we can finally do storm the capital building. With support from all ground forces, we can now storm the capital building in Austin. Those who oppose the new regime were quick to walk out after seeing how outnumbered they were. They will be missed in the army, but if there's a need, they will be forced back into the military. <laughs> the capital building will be ours, and the government will fall into a new life. Absolutely. And we got a little bit more political power we can spend on these guys, but nah, nah, nah. Maybe we should go with limit exports. Nah, we can't do that. We'll probably go with war industrialist or... We could do fascist politician, but we're going to turn fascist anyway, so it doesn't even really matter. Could give you 5% more political power, but nah. I might raise our population, because we have a core population of 10 million. That's not bad. In 10, 1936? That really ain't bad. Military staff-wise, we're probably going to get more defense. Organization is nice, but, you know, whatever. 
Uh, guns, oh, we're doing well in artillery. Guns is kind of lacking, support equipment's pretty lacking. Fighters are doing okay, though. Let's go ahead and pull out some of those guys, and then pull out some of those guys. Very nice. Go ahead and pop them up to 100. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, let's get up there. Thank you, finally. And we got enough political power. Time. We can't switch over there. Not yet. We need to be at war, probably, and have more war support, which is fine. <sighs> what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I want some of this. Because we're going to need it eventually. So, Very good. We're still building stuff up. More military factories, as well as civilian factories. Oh, you guys are still training. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You know what? This is disappointing. Mm, New Mexico class. Don't tell me I'm going to try to send this ship out to war. Uh, please tell me you have something... Well, this is definitely a navy. Please don't... At least you got fighters. Uh, okay. Deck size 15. Oh, we're going to need... Oh, I forgot about that. Do carriers really need planes on them to be effective? I guess so. I guess so. Actually, you know what? Since we're here... You can go up to four if you need to. Yeah, I guess we could use a couple of this. Hopefully we won't need to use our military too much. Or our navy, I mean. <laughs> use our military. Our navy too much. So, we'll see what happens. Storm the capital building. The capital building is under the control of nationalists. Oh no, a few hours ago. Well, if you want to read that, go right ahead. We have no choice but to accept. And we change into a special little flag led by Edwin Walker. Cool. So we can begin shipments from Houston. Wow, that's more dockyard output. Uh, rebuild the capital. Nice. Influence foreign governments. That's cool. Rebuild the capital first, though. While the march on the capital building was a success, there were damages on the building and surrounding areas. We did achieve our goal, though. If the march on the capital was a projection of our future success, then we will prosper. Civil wars was avoided, and it's better to repair just the capital and surrounding areas than rebuild a whole entire nation. Currently get 61% stability, 1.34 political power a day. That ain't bad. Uh, can we start... Who's an enemy of us? See, now, y'all... Y'all the Cajun Legion. Now that's nice. Cajun Legion. I like that. Let's come over here. Let's get some more construction speed. And get the bar and Stokes mortars. Very good. We're going to grab some of that too. Now, the Oklahoma Empire. Why is everyone around me fascist? Oh, here we go. Every man a soldier. We don't... No. 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 Little Rock. I've been through Little Rock, but... Mm, 5,000. Five, oh, it's time. It's... Oh, yeah. Oh, we need 33 more political power. That takes forever to go to war. Holy cow, son. Holy cow. Oh, man. But, you know, as world tension goes up higher and higher and higher, it'll be quicker and cheaper and faster, hopefully, to go to war with uh, everyone around us. New Mexico. Yeah, there's a little bit more lag. Oh, how strong is New Mexico? One of three divisions. It's not bad. It might be best first just for us to take out Little Rock and then focus back over here because we're surrounded by other fascists. And fascists... Fascists... Don't necessarily... Oh, social monitoring program. Don't like each other necessarily. They can, but they don't have to. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. And then we're going to get improved working conditions because I want more stability. Stability is pretty good to get. Good. Getting more... Oh. Steel's okay. Um, give me more guns first, though. They're still training. How, how are these soldiers? They're coming along. Coming along. Calvary still training, it looks like. Well, maybe not, actually. Hold on. You are good. Y'all train. Train y'all till y'all done. 70,000 manpower is not going to be enough. But for me to smash into Arkansas, we should be good. We should be pretty good. Nice. Little rock. Uh, I'm probably just going to straight up annex them, too. Just because I think it's probably the best to do direct control. It's not like Old Rebel is where you can just core it immediately, but that's okay. Armored cars. Mm, eh, that's pretty important for resistance, probably. That'd be cool if you could core it. But then again, you can form the Confederate States or the American Union State if you want to core it later on anyway, so. And let us do... Boom. Stability. It's so important. Go ahead and do that, too. Nice. Alright, anything else that we need to see? Kentucky looks pretty normal. Utah... Land of the Deity, that's just awesome. That looks potentially controversial. Uh, Nevada, People's Republic of Nevada. Matthew McDowell. Reform the schooling system. What's, what's the NCR doing? Military expansion. Huh. 
All right, well, you, I'll do you. You, you really don't have really the industry that I do or the manpower. Now, New York, they're going to have the industry or the manpower. Oh yeah, look at that manpower, that industry. Hmm. That is really the group that's going to be tough for us to fight. Oh yeah. Oh, I forgot. Oh, we still need to justify these guys. That's okay. Let's rebuild the capital first. That's fine. We got time. North American Axis. That'd be kind of cool. Influence foreign governments. Yes. Let's do that. Everyone around us will become a little more fascist because they like it. Because they want to. Because they choose to. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. All right. Oh, not you. He's going to take 41 more political power. That's going to take a little bit of time, which isn't very good. And, ooh, Missourian Empire. Anything else around here? Just let time go as fast as possible so we can get to war. Hopefully. Relatively. Quickly. Cool. Armor divisions. Oh, why would you use that? Why? There you go. That's better. Go ahead and expand to at least four with engineers and artillery. Yeah, there you go. That would be good. Whenever we make those, that would be nice. Uh, you guys, I'm also going to use these as suppression is 20 you guys have 15 not, not you I don't really care for the National Guard divisions I really don't like them they're too thick for me I don't like them too thick garrisons uh, hold on. let's do this first I don't want to make a mistake duplicate it first and then call them garrisons 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 thank you so you guys are here. Y'all don't need this. I'm going to leave on the cavalry recon thing just for now because... Never mind, I'm just going to take it off. I was going to switch it with uh, military police, but whatever. Now we can't do occupied territories, but that'll be okay for when we actually have to do that. Let's see. Are y'all river state fat? Okay, so I'll that I went communist. You're still democratic. Fascist. Democratic. Fascist. Democratic with a lot of fascist influence. So overall, I would say either the South has gone fascist or communist with a few sprinkles of democracy here and there. <sighs> I love democracy. And that's why we went fascist. I love it so much. Cool. Uh, Topeka. Oh, Wichita. Uh, Kansas. Hey, there's, there's South Landon. I never knew it was from, uh, Kansas. That state, yeah. That one state. Cool. Alright. Can't go to war economy yet. We need more war support, which we need more world tension to rise. But that might happen after we beat up Arkansas? Unless they make more divisions? I can't imagine the land of Bill Clinton having that much of an army by the time we go to war with them. Oh, well, I could be wrong. Influence foreign governments? Good. Let's begin shipments from Houston. Houston is a vital shipping port for economy. The largest port city should be expanded and shipments should increase from there. Expanding the size of the sh shipments would also create a better supply line with any volunteers or expeditionary forces overseas or otherwise. Overall, the expansion of the port of Houston, or at Houston, would be a crucial to foreign interventionism or foreign intervention and our economy. Sorry. Words. Hard. Difficult. Especially when you're trying to record at night. Whatever. Cool. Hope you're having a great day. Ah! More divisions. Lovely. So we're going to treat these guys kind of our special forces. A whole 20 combat with horse. And of course we have our planes. That will be very, very, very incredibly important for the war against Arkansas, which... Ah, the first war has begun. The Missouri Empire declared war on the People's Republic of Nebraska. Ah, that is... That is a huge land war between these two. That's just... Mm. Have you ever seen a bigger land war? Oh, oh shnike. Geez, what's going on here? Construction. So Oklahoma declared war on the land of the deity, Colorado. Virginia declared war on Kentucky. Louisiana declared war on the river state. Thank God no one's attacking Arkansas because I can get it myself. Mm. And we're going to get dispersed industry. Very nice. Go and get some of these bad... Oh, we already got those bad boys. We're using close air support too. We got them bad boys done too. Wow. We're doing that as well. That's looking good. Um, Military, please. And we got a little bit more political power. We can go extensive conscription. That's going to hurt our training time. We don't need any more for right now. Go ahead and build ourselves up faster with more military factories. I'm not even making military factories. Do that and that. Ah, Austin. And then do that. And then do that. I don't think, like I said earlier, the Navy's going to play a huge role in this, com in this campaign. But I could be wrong. And given what ships we have, 
I really probably need to research battleships or something better. Hey, man, look at Louisiana. They're really beating up on them Mississippi people. Very nice. And there goes Kentucky, the first state to has, to has, to have fallen. How am I not just fallen? I keep saying I needed to go to war, but I keep spending political power on other nonsense. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? That is a Virginia, too. I've never noticed that before. Virginia and Kentucky are so similar in shape that it only made sense for Virginia to absorb Kentucky. And when is when is Indianapolis spelled with two N's? Hey, look. Missouri actually broke across the river. Wow. Well, at least people are being aggressive. Hopefully that makes it cheaper or more quickly for everyone else to go to war with each other. That'd be kind of nice. Let's see. What other states are, am I missing? Is anyone else going... Oh, Oklahoma is going up Colorado's butthole and going straight for Denver. All right. Well, whatever. Please let me go. Please let me go. Oh, 14 more. God dang it. It's my fault. My fault. My fault. Uh, 1937. Let's go ahead and grab some of you because we can. I want time to go on as fast as possible. And the... Wow, that was fast. That was fast. Wow. Hopefully they get a lot of resistance, which is might be a problem for this mod if people if people if the states cannot deal with resistance. But they should be able to deal with it. Yeah, they should be able to. We should still be able to take out Louisiana, but okay, I don't want to be dumb here. Oh no, Oklahoma, no, no, no. How strong are these guys? Oh, you know what? Screw this. Like I said, fascists don't really care about taking out other fascists, so we're going to do that. 225 days, that's better than 375. Let's do the North American Axis. Uh, ooh, that might actually hurt us from trying to go to war with Oklahoma then. In North America, there is yet to be a strong country to lead others into the future. The failure of democracy and the rise of fascism in our country has le left us to do the job. With seemingly no one else to fill the power void in the South, we must step in and lead others to a future that we can control. They will think the power is shared, but we all know otherwise. Creates a faction, North American Axis. You know, why did I just justify on you guys? It's probably best to justify on, like, New Mexico, honestly. This would, this would have been... Oh, my goodness. Why? I, I, I made a mistake. But we'll, we'll see what happens. If we invite them to our alliance and they say yes, then we'll go to war with these guys. Because it's all about expansion here. And there goes Oklahoma. So, world tension has just shot up to 34%. That's not bad. Not bad. Keep building ourselves up. At least now we're not getting weaker. We still have a, probably one of the biggest industries in the continental United States. And the gods enriched empire. Anything else? What are the world wars are going on right now? Do we have any other wars? Any other wars? Uh, Missouri and Nebraska. Hmm. Land of many tornadoes, I think. Ah, Lincoln is almost ready to fall. Yes. Yes. And let us get through one more focus first before we end this episode. There's one more focus. One more focus. That's going to take forever to do, though. Oh, my goodness. I even went fascist for this. Cool. Oh, Lincoln's been cut off. Yeah, that's that's the end, probably, of Nebraska. Well, this is definitely turning in, in, interesting. Oh, my God. Free. Spending our army. There you go. And 38% world tension. Foreign influence focus. Expanding our army. Decryption, state, defense, state secrets, pe pride in our people. How long would it take to go to war with those guys? 300? That's that's actually not too bad. We're being a very peaceful fascist nation for now, which I think will work out very well. And I think that's what, that's kind of a problem for us, because we want to go to war with those guys, we want to go to war with those guys. we got the delay doctrine, which is kind of nice. We have 300 naval XP, which is very good. We're more than halfway done with our next focus, just to see who will want to be our ally cool anyone else canadians they're not fighting each other yet come on guys kill each other come on mexico come on mexicans kill each other central americans kill each other too it's battle royale time until we form an alliance which might th screw things up quite terribly cool mm, can't really spend too much political power there gotta save it can't be too corrupt with my political power and let's see louisiana they're slowly getting more compliance which is probably good for them hmm all right, all right, all right, you guys. How, how's our Air Force looking? Do we have... We still don't have full planes yet. Darn, that sucks. But we've improved machine tools, which is nice. Looks really so well. That stuff is okay. Mm, get maintenance companies because we can. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. 
North American Access, good. Little Rock, but really Oklahoma. They only two to five divisions, that's not much. Let's get some more of this, that'll be good. Get some more of that, get some more of this. So, now we have done our focus and the Cajun Legion has joined us. Wonderful. Tex Coco did not a request, oh no. Has not has not seen the high probability of American culture being eliminated by European powers. They will soon see. Oklahoma Empire joins our faction. Cool. Which means our justification for them is done. So now we have our own little faction here. That's actually kind of cool. The North American Axis. That actually doesn't look too bad in time. I'm going to kick them out so we can eat them up later on. Uh, Lone Star Empire is justifying. Oh. Ain't that me? Now let's make sure we do this properly um yeah i don't want to no longer justify on y'all can i just find you uh what about y'all three to five days you know what just in case we're going to take out new mexico first we surround them on two sides so and grab one more focus with subjugate the weaker neighbors while there's some ex united states in north america that would be strong allies the potential with them is limited it would be a smarter idea to subjugate our smaller neighbors while we can now the potential is still much higher in the hands of a capable government the governments will still exist but they will merely be puppets to ours you decide to focus on puppeting weaker neighbors but that's where we're going to end today's episode my friend we are the lone star empire and i hope you enjoyed today's episode please answer the question i had earlier in, in the uh, episode where I asked you in what year did Texas gain independence from Mexico. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we will make Texas and the North American Axis a great, great place to be. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.